hey, Kevin, that's a mighty nice red nose you've got there. I'm well, practicing for my Rudolph impersonation. Got a message from Keith the other day. He said, what kind of saw blades do you buy for that chop saw and why? And what I normally do is I buy Continentals. I take these down to get them resharpened. You know, you can do that, right? These saw blades, the tooth saw blades on the chop saws, you don't throw them away. Oh, God, no. Take them down and get them resharpened. You'll get dozens of trips to the sharpening shop to get them resharpened before you have to replace one. I like to get the Continental blade simply because that was what was recommended by the saw shop that I go to. And after using various blades, you know, the, the old DeWalt blade that I have, a couple of jet blades that I bought off of Amazon, you know, the Continentals, you can feel the weight in them. They're much heavier than the, you know, the big box store saw blades that you get. It means there's more metal there. They're going to last longer. The teeth that are on these blades, these are little carbide inserts that are welded right onto the steel saw blade. And then they just resharpen the little carbide inserts that they put on there. So the saw blade is reusable, you know, it, it, it's rehabable. You know, you can, you can build it back up again. Now, if you only damage one or two or maybe three teeth, it's cheaper to have them replaced and keep the same saw blade. Now, you have something like come loose in the vise on the saw and you damage a bunch of teeth, now you just throw it away. And now it, it's more economical to just buy a new saw blade. New continental saw blades, depending on what tooth count you buy. Now this is a, this is a 72, or no, 78 tooth for steel, and like this is a 100 tooth for aluminum. Now the steel blades, they're gonna run you between probably like 130 up to you know, about $170 a blade. Ouch, take care of them, they're, they're expensive. Now the aluminum blades, you know, more teeth, feel about the same weight, you know, uh, but just more teeth on them, so of course they cost, cost a little more. Figure for the aluminum blades, probably up into the 200s, 210, 215, 220. Man, the fact that you can have them resharpened, that's a biggie right there. You know, it cost me about $45, $50, I guess, to have one resharpened. If you have to change teeth, you have to put a new tooth on it or something, um, you know, add another 40, 50 bucks to it you know, to have them, you know, get the old one off, weld a new one on, get it reground. So, you know, it can get expensive, but they last a heck of a lot longer than those abrasive blades. And all you get is chips. You don't get the dust, you know, so it's not, you're not coming out looking like you, you're working a coal mine or something. Now, I know you guys talk about this all the time. You cannot, let me emphasize, not take an abrasive chop saw that runs the abrasive blade and put a tooth blade on it. They turn at a different speed. You're just going to burn up the blades. You, you'll burn up the tooth blade just trying to force it down through the metal. And you saw how slow I was cutting over there. Just the weight of my hand, just, you know, let, let, just that much weight work the saw down through there. Give the blade a chance to cut. And of course, if you, as you've noticed, right here, there's a $90 price tag on it. This one was used, supposedly used once but it was at the saw shop. It had just been sharpened. That's why it's got the wax on it to protect the teeth and you. And it's like 90 bucks versus, you know, 150, 200. <laughs> yeah, I'll pop for that. Now I normally buy my blades, you know, at the saw shop where I get them resharpened also. You do enough business with them, you start to get a little discount in price. So that's always a good thing. But you can buy these online too. I know Amazon carries, you know, just a boatload of them. You just need to know your diameter your tooth count, you know, what are you cutting? You know, steel, aluminum, stainless, you know, they all take a different tooth count. And the arbor size for your saw to make sure it fits your saw correctly. And you just buy them online. You know, hopefully you can get, you know, get online, saw sharp sharpening shop, say that three times quick, in your neighborhood. You know, maybe you can find somebody local that can resharpen them for you once you get them. So Keith, I hope that answers your questions. Uh, I do appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to pop out to my website, see what's going on out there, and I'll see you all next time. You got a chop saw that has a tooth blade on it, and you're
Yeah. <laughs>